This is a walk around of a 2017 Toyota Tundra SR5 four wheel drive Dirt King long travel truck. All right, so why does it say Raptor Killer in the opening caption? Well, there's a previous video that I did for Tundra versus Raptor. Go check that out. But I will just share with you my quick thoughts. These Tundras are V8. They're almost 400 horsepower stock. With a supercharger, they're 550. Uh, pretty well known to be bulletproof running gear, engine and transmission. This is four wheel drive with 15 and a half inches of travel up front, 17 inches of travel in the rear. And if you do the math on buying a Raptor, building it, buying a Tundra, building it, on paper, budget wise, the Tundra wins, it's cheaper, and arguably has better performance. The fact that you get a spring under with these Dirt King kits gives it an advantage over the, most of the spring over Raptor setups that are out there. There's more on that in that other video. But uh, in my opinion, this is the clear winner. If I had a choice, which I do, I would choose a Tundra. And I like Raptors, but I would still choose the Tundra. Watch that other video. So let's get to the bed here. Uh, Dirt King bed cage with ADS 3.0 bypass shocks. Obviously a spare wheel and tire, some traction boards with the uh, speed strap, Y strap holding down. Um, dual fire extinguishers with quick release mounts. Make it off of Amazon. Link is down in the description. Pro Eagle three ton Kratos with mount. Uh, future plans are to put a CO2 tank here and um, a storage container here, just like I did in my last Tundra. Uh, third brake light, Casey highlights, dust lights, and brake lights. I think that's an evil, I'm not positive. There's also the uh, mount on top for the uh, antenna. And I think that about uh, covers it for the bed. And can't forget my Cutlass Designs Pirate bottle opener. SS built rear bumper. There's actually a dedicated uh, video on YouTube about this bumper. So make sure you go check that out. So Dirt King spring under system with a uh, Deaver I-96 Leafs, ADS bumps, strapped, Pretty simple, yet very, very effective. There's also all this uh, frame gusseting in there, which is a kit uh, that Dirt King makes. It's uh, all these plates. They can't see them all, but they go farther forward and they're on both sides of the truck to uh, stiffen the chassis. Makes a huge difference. 37 inch tires. These are the D-rated. Uh, 37, 12, 50, 17 Toyo Oak Country Muds on some 17 inch method bead locks, but I think I'm swapping these out to some KMCs. Okay, as far as lights go, it's got uh, squadrons, both sides, and S2, light bar, ambers and whites, 40 inch, uh, XL80s up here on the pillars. It did have some S2s mounted here. I took them off because it's got these, which is plenty. And I plan to run lighted whips um, in those holes instead. So this is the Dirt King long travel kit. It is a 2.5 coilover and a 3.0 bypass, all ADS shocks. 
Uh, as per a previous post on Instagram, this thing is cycling 15 and a half inches with four wheel drive, which is very impressive. All right, let's talk about this front bumper. Um, inch three quarter tubing, three sixteenths aluminum skid. This was built by CNC Fabworks in Ventura. I just like to give credit where credit is due because I really like this bumper and the fact that they relocated uh, the cooling radiator and uh, moved up this point higher so that you could get a better angle because these Tundras always have a funky angle. And it is a uh, dual skid plates. So just nicely done, uh, really nice welds, good fabrication. Just wanted to point that out. This is all ADV front fenders and ADV bedsides. The whole truck is wrapped and it's also got PPF pretty much everywhere. So you see some of this stuff, um, which is kind of typical of a wrap and PPF on an off-road truck, part of the price you pay to have that protection but this was actually pretty, pretty well done. I'm impressed. So the interior on this truck is, for the most part, all stock. It's got the uh, Switch Pros here with room for two more. PCI race radio. There's the mic. Skosh mount for a phone. ICS mount, you can put uh, an iPad up here, uh, another phone mount, and it's also got USB ports in this. Plus you can mount other devices to it as well. It's also got one of those starry headliners or whatever they're called. Well, if you haven't noticed yet, these tundras have really grown on me. Uh, just the Toyota reliability, their performance out of these kits. Uh, Dirt King, namely on this one. LSK on a couple of my buddy's trucks. Very impressive. Um, this is probably going to be a platform I'm going to be on for a little while. But just wanted to share this walk around with you guys and the details on this truck. And as always, uh, we appreciate you watching. If you could comment below, tell me what your thoughts are like this video and um, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.